Welcome to 2024! The new year is always a good time to set goals and I am a person that personally loves to do that. What can I say? I'm a simple gal. So, welcome to the new year. I just refilmed this whole thing because it was in echo mode. 2024! 2024. Do you like my microphone set? I love a good goal setting moment, so I thought I would walk you through my personal New Year's resolutions to hopefully inspire you. And if you're not a goal setting person, I hope you enjoy. I succeeded in my New Year's resolution last year, and that was to become a vegetarian, which I have done, so I'm officially a vegetarian for one year now. And I thought I'd up the ante a little bit. So, without further ado, here are my New Year's resolutions for 2024. You just have to trust it's there. The brightness is literally on max. Let's get into it. I don't know if these microphones are any good. Uh, so sorry if they're bad. My first New Year's resolution for 2024 is to get strong. 2024, I'm going to get the gains. I'm going to be so toned, so fat. I'm going to be able to do this stuff. I feel like it's always a good thing to move your body, so why not try it a little bit more? Plus, this is such a cliche. I want to, like, pull out this and be like, oh, yeah. But I can't do that right now. But 2024, it's going to happen. Our next New Year's resolution is to grow my nails out. Now, you're probably thinking, Grace, you bite your nails? Yes. Yes, I do. I am a cynical nail biter. Look at these. You don't get to see. It's really bad. It's, it's really bad. I love painting my nails. It's literally something that brings me so much joy in my life. I mean, I've kind of got a good collection going and I want to be able to use them on something longer than one centimeter, you know? Also, it's just a bit yuck. And I know that. I know. I know it's a bit gross. I know. I, I live with... Live. <sighs> Sorry. I live with it every day. I know it's gross, guys. No. I'm gonna have long, luxurious nails and they're gonna be professionally groomed by me. I am so deadly serious about it. I am 17 now. I should not be nipping at the nails. I shouldn't be chewing at the cuticles, you know? It's time to grow up now. It's 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 time. It's it's time. And you know what guys? I'm embarrassed to admit it, but it's the truth. And so to anyone out there who's an albider, 2024, that's you and me, babe. Oh, hello. Don't see seeing you here. This chair is literally so comfy. I hope you guys can see. Hello, Mimi. Mimi. Mimi doesn't feel like being interviewed right now. The next resolution on my list is... In 2024, I want to become an organizational icon because I'm really unorganized, like, all the time. Literally today, I bought this cute little Mother Nature calendar. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to write all my stuff in it. It's going to be great. I'm never going to miss a deadline for school. Never. I'm going to be completed my schoolwork two days before the due date. Do you see that? Do that sounds like organization to me. I've got a very busy year next year. If you guys didn't know, I am deputy head prefect at my school, which is so exciting. With being a prefect comes a lot of jobs, a lot of important things that you have to do, which I don't want to screw up and I don't want to miss. So that is why I'm going to be so organized. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so great. Living your life as unorganized as I have been is actually so hectic and crazy, and I'm not about to bring that into 2024. Let me just tell you right now let me just tell you right now and being an organizational icon also blends into my next new year's resolution which is i have to try and study we're becoming studious in 2024 i'm gonna study so hard i'm just gonna become mega i'm gonna become mega mind it's gonna be crazy i'm gonna be the smartest woman on this planet i'm gonna be so smart um as you can see right here this is the state of my desk we have sewing disco balls friendship bracelets uh uh, yeah, it's actually a little bit embarrassing, but you know what? I'm, I'm here. Now, I hate studying. I am not a studier whatsoever. I haven't studied at all. Okay, don't take this as advice, but I literally only studied the day of the exam, which is just not good. Not good whatsoever. Do not do that. And in 2024, another goal of mine, which is a very loose goal, which is why I didn't put on my slideshow, is to maybe become ducks. It's a really rough goal. Honestly, it's just a point. Like, you got to shoot for the moon and land in the stars, you know? And if I get there, wow, amazing. If I don't, hey, at least I studied. At least I tried. Studying, 2024. Me, you, it's going to happen. I seriously don't think you guys can see this. The next New Year's resolution I have is to level up my musicianship. <laughs> As you may or may not know, I am a musician. I do 
to Rock Quest and I have got a song coming out on Spotify which you guys should totally stream. Never made the same by Grace Bay, by the way. 2024, I'm going to live up my musicianship. I want to become amazing at the guitar, have a beautiful singing voice, etc, etc, because I like doing music. I'm going to be like rocking it like Hendrix. Is that still relevant? I don't know. The next New Year's resolution I have for 2024 is to save my money. <sighs> because I am a shopaholic. I'm a shopaholic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm a proud one at that. Look at all my clothes. 99% of this is op shop. What can I say? I love a good deal. I love a good bargain. But the problem with loving bargains and loving deals and loving savings is that I'm going to take every opportunity. I'm like, oh my god, if I don't buy it now, I'll never get that that ten dollars off from ever again in my life. Be so real right now, please, Grace. Please wake up. This is your wake up call. As much as I love clothes, shoes, savings, bargains, I don't love student loan debt. I am imagining myself at university, off as a young adult and having no money. As someone who's working minimum wage, I do have to be mindful with my money. So for 2024, I'm gonna try, Just try keyword try hope you guys are enjoying these scenery changes honestly my next resolution is become better at discipline d-i-s-c-i-p-l-i-n-e it's a funny word it's a it's a cute little little word with a lot of eyes okay it's kind of what is it trying to like beef me up because it's got so many eyes i don't know it's kind of intimidating it's kind of cute what does it mean that is the real question we're trying to ask when i'm saying discipline it's me doing the things i don't want to do it could be as little as having a shower getting out of the shower or going to the gym or doing my homework i am literally the biggest procrastinator on this whole entire earth 2024 i'm gonna get stuff done i have a lot of goals and i'm gonna self-discipline myself to get them all done mimi 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 just coming mimi hello kitty do you want to come sit the next resolution for 2024 is put more effort into my hobbies. YouTube, music, sewing, fashion, acting. I might get new hobbies in 2024 and I'll add to them. I love my hobbies so much, but I honestly don't put enough effort into them. And even though the year is busy, I will be trying to find time for my hobbies because, duh, I like doing them. And it's always good to get off the old mobile. As much as I love my phone, I don't like doom scrolling. And I can look after my little Mimi. She's so adorable. Everybody deserves a hobby. Everybody deserves something that makes them happy that isn't work. Something that lights the fire inside, you know? My final resolution for 2024 is to be happy. Even if I don't complete any of my other goals, the only goal that I ever have in mind is to be happy. Speaking of happiness, I hope this video made you happy and I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know your New Year's resolutions for 2024. I hope this inspired you. I hope that you had a fabulous New Year's. And cheers to 2024, guys. This is going to be a great year. I love you guys all very, very much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye!